is a cotton mill, one of the most modern cotton mills built anywhere in the southern hemisphere, and it's every inch Australian. The story of this huge undertaking is one of development and progress. The story of 35 acres of grazing land converted in record time to house a modern industry, a vital industry to Australia both in peace and war. Established in South Australia in 1942, this plant today occupies 12 acres and employs more than a thousand Australians. It produces annually one million sheets, three million pillowcases and one million Terry nursery squares for Australian homes. In its modern design, the mill includes every amenity to make for contentment among its employees. Ideal working conditions are highlights of policy in this million pound undertaking. The raw cotton for this vast and expanding industry comes from Brazil, Uganda, Pakistan and the United States. For Australia, which once depended entirely on imports for its supplies of cotton piece goods, now imports the raw materials to feed its own textile industries. Every year, more than five million pounds of raw cotton from overseas comes to the vast Actil mill at Woodville, South Australia. Every week, a hundred thousand pounds of this raw cotton goes through the spinning, weaving, bleaching and the finishing machinery in the actual plant. Raw cotton is imported in tightly compressed bales of about 400 pounds weight each. In this original state, the matted mass of cotton fibers contains some 12% of impurities, broken seed, leaf and sand. The cotton released from the bales is fed into these machines, where it is separated into a loose condition by the action of beaters, during which about 6% of the impurities is removed. The removal of these impurities is the first stage in the processing. Fine dust is extracted by air suction to preserve comfortable, healthy conditions. The cotton is drawn by fans from each machine to the next and is then delivered in a loosely compressed sheet form known as a lap. Each lap is carefully weighed to ensure uniformity of processing. Now comes carding, probably the most important of the preparatory processes. The carding machine completes the cleaning of the cotton removes fibers which are too short for spinning and delivers the cotton in a soft rope-like but untwisted strand which is called a sliver. A further 6% of waste is removed in this operation. In the sliver from the carding machine the cotton fibers lie at random in all directions. To correct this the sliver passes through the draw frames which lay the fibers parallel and correct any irregularity in weight per yard. Six slivers are drawn together through sets of rollers, each roller revolving faster than the one before. About 1,000 miles of this final sliver are produced daily in the actual mill. Weight per yard of the sliver is checked regularly to ensure uniform processing at the later stages of production. Untwisted cotton sliver at this stage of production has practically no strength and is easily broken. The untwisted slivers then go to the speed or flyer frames where they are drawn out and twisted. The slivers gradually become thinner and lighter and in this form they are handled on large bobbins and are called rovings. Test samples of roving are measured off and carefully checked for weight. This is the final spinning process, drawing the thin strand of roving to the fineness required and twisting it for maximum strength. 
A spindle speed of 10,000 revolutions per minute is not unusual on these ultra-modern spinning frames, which produce more than 100,000 miles of cotton yarn every day. Note the involved gearing, which is part of the modern high-speed spinning machine. Strong and regular cloth requires strong and regular yarn. Therefore, samples of finished yarn are continually tested for uniformity and breaking strength. This spinning section alone occupies an area of 100,000 square feet. Yarn intended for the weft or cross threads of the cloth is left on small bobbins which fit direct into the shuttle of the loom. The yarn for the warp or length of the cloth is wound onto large cones. Each cone holds 30 times the length of yarn on the small spinning bobbin. Here the warp threads are wound from the cones onto the warper's beam. The warper's beam holds up to 500 separate threads, each more than 10,000 yards long. A number of warper's beams are now run together to give the number of threads required for the particular width of cloth. The threads are sized by passing through boiling starch together with other ingredients and wound onto weaver's beams. Size is added to protect the threads during weaving and is completely removed at a later stage. Before the weaver's beam is ready for the loom, each thread must be drawn through a heeled wire and then through a metal comb known as a reed. In this weaving department, there are 344 looms producing 20 miles of cotton cloth every 24 hours. Each of these high-speed looms weaves a yard of cloth in about 15 minutes. The warp threads are alternately raised and lowered by the action of the heel, forming a space through which the shuttle delivers the weft thread. Each weft thread is driven into position by a forward movement of the reed. The shuttle travels the width of the loom about twice per second. The cloth being woven here is the terry tiling for actual nursery squares. The rolls of cloth from the looms then pass into the warehouse where they are measured, examined, sewn together and mechanically laid onto trucks. The first operation prior to bleaching is to trim off loose threads from the cloth on this shearing machine. Then the cloth runs rapidly over gas flames. This singes off all loose fibres, giving that smooth surface so essential for quality sheets and pillowcases. Here we see the cloth passing through the bleaching plant in the form of a rope. Carefully controlled chemical treatments are used to remove all impurities and deliver the cloth with that snowy whiteness associated with Actil products. The bleached cloth is thoroughly rinsed and shaken out to open width and squeezed through the large five bowl mangle. In the final finishing processes, a range of still larger and impressive machinery is employed. First, the drying range, where the cloth is dried by passing over steam heated cylinders. And this machine is a stenter, 60 feet long. Its function is to straighten the cloth and ensure the uniform guaranteed width. The cloth is now almost ready for cutting, but still has to be given its super finish to complete a product that offers as fine value in cotton as the world's. The final machine is the seven bowl finish the cloth that smooth linen finish. Scientific testing at 32 stages of production ensures that all actual products leave the plant perfect in every detail. We've seen the cotton pass through numerous processes, from the opening of the bale to the delivery of the finished sheeting. 
Now in the finishing warehouse, sheets, pillowcases and nursery squares are carefully cut and sewn on high-speed precision machines. Every article receives a final inspection before being packed in attractive boxes designed for safe and hygienic handling. This ensures that Actil guaranteed products will reach Australian homes in perfect condition. By its increased production of cotton goods, designed for all parts of the Commonwealth and New Zealand, this Woodville plant is playing an important part in Australia's economy, giving employment directly and indirectly to thousands of Australians. The continued growth of this great enterprise at Woodville, South Australia, will be a significant factor in the fulfilment of Australia's plans for industrial development. Cotton will continue to play an ever-increasingly important role in Australia's economy, improving the wealth and standard of living of her people. Thank you.